I wonder how many of you know where we are. Because it's been a little while since we've been here at my jungle village. Hello everybody, welcome to episode 64. So for those of you that don't know, this is, like I said, my jungle village. That is my jungle temple. Uh, that's a mob spawner that's not quite finished. Mostly because the caves around here aren't lit up, so it's not very effective. Um, but it's supposed to be hidden by a temple, and this is the main reason why I left the area, because I don't really know what to do with this. Like, I have a plan for it, but don't know how to go about doing it. But anyways, I still really like this town. And with the recent developments in the snapshots, I decided to come back for a little bit. Now, we're about 1 minute and 30 seconds into this episode, and we've already hit a bit of a snag. Yeah, it didn't take very long. So, as you can see, um, where do you see? There we go, top left corner. We are in uh, version 1.11. Uh, this for this episode was supposed to be in a snapshot, um, and there's a few reasons that it's not. Now, the main reason that it was supposed to be in a snapshot is parrots. There are supposed to be parrots in this game, and I'm a little late on this now. So most of you, most of you probably know parrots. You're like, oh, hello, parrots have been around for like two weeks. Come on, dude, catch up. Uh, so that's the biggest thing that I wanted to be here for. That's up there is where we're gonna be building uh, first this episode, by the way. Um, and. I, I loaded into the snapshot, and I don't know how common they're supposed to be. I don't know anything about their spawning mechanics. I can't find any. I was under the impression they'd kind of be all over. I, I can't find any at all. Why is that leaf, like, not despawning? I wonder if I can hit it. Uh, so, so, I was just going to build... Oh, that's not even close. Oh, yeah, it is. Well, I was just going to build a uh, a bird coop. Well, not a bird coop. You'll see what we're doing. Let's see what we're doing. Um, oh, I don't have feather falling on. <laughs> I almost died just trying to do that and didn't even notice. Um, but the other thing was, it's not stable, the snapshot. For me, at least. I, I'm like... Reduced my frame, my render distance down to like five chunks, and and I I'd be getting decent frames, and then it would just drop to like twenty frames for some reason. And I looked at my usage on the you know test manager thing, and normally Minecraft's at about right now it's at like uh, nine hundred megabytes, and it was at like four thousand megabytes, and it was really laggy. I'm not really sure what's up. It, combination of not having optifine and it being a, a snapshot so i figured well let's just build what we we're gonna build and have uh enjoyable frame rates <laughs> instead of the alternative um so i wanted to make oh what do you call them is it an aviary is that what they're called you know where uh you go to a zoo and they have a bird section and, and it's like covered in net so that they can't get out, right? I wanted to do something like that. But the biggest issue that I have... Ugh, hello, excuse me. Every time I start talking, the burps come up. Um, the biggest issue that I have is the net part. Um... We, we could use glass or we could use fence. I don't think that that's going to look good. I need to um, get some resources here. Um, I really don't think that that's going to look good. So I think it's going to be like a free range uh, bird nest. So birds flying around can just come in here. I really wish that we could have parrots. You can tame them. You can put them on your, on your shoulder and all that fun stuff. But... Anyways, I'm going to get some resources, and then I'll be right back with you. Kobe. Good thing I put my feather falling back on, because I would not have lived that. 
I should have known better, or I didn't know better, I guess. I'm in the jungle. Anyways, how are you guys? I'm doing pretty good. We hit 250 subs since last time, I think. So that's fun. Um, okay, so something that I want to accomplish with this is these birds are really colorful. Um, I think there's like a blue, green, red, cyan. I think there's five different variations. This is not a very safe path. Um, so... I want to make this thing colorful. So one thing I thought of was like a wool canopy. But that won't make much sense because we have a natural canopy from this. Well, what if we do a canopy or what if we surround this canopy with these things? Oh, we can't do that. Oh, no. That takes up the same block. Hmm. I'm going to need a lot more banners than this, I think. But we can still get an idea of what it looks like. So just at random intervals, I don't really have enough. Hmm. Do I have a way to get up there, though? This would maybe be easier from the top. Building up here is always a difficult thing to do. Okay, we got the bird's eye view for the uh, home for the birds. Practically poetic. Uh, I actually went back and got quite a few more banners. Um, because just the bottom row didn't look so great from up here. Although I realize that nobody's going to see it from up here. Unless you're in the top of the temple, maybe. Um, but from down here, I guess you can see you can see those still. Um, I like it. It's not like intrusive or anything. That's kind of one of the things I worry about when adding wool to it, or or just generally bright colors to an area. It just like at first especially seems very intrusive. Um but I like this. I really do. And if we ever get birds in here, then it should actually uh match them. Right? I think so. So, uh let's eat. And I have a bunch of slabs and have a bunch of fence. And I want to design it in a way that you would see bird. Everyone's seen like bird cages, right? They always have things for the birds to hang on, climb on, have fun with. Um, stuff like that could be good. Obviously, we're limited right here, so we can't do just a circular design around the trunk. Um, something like this. Does it make sense if it's something just for them to play on like this? Or will no one know what I'm doing? Hmm. Because... I feel like real ones don't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, you, they're in a bird cage. You know what they are, right? But let's add a couple posts around. Maybe something for them to sit on, right? Oh, we could get trap doors. I put trap doors on everything, though. <laughs> but let's actually do get trap doors. Do I have? I do. I do. Let's... Uh, Let's make like six of them. We don't need a whole lot, right? See, this is one of those really easy builds we can do on camera in like five minutes. And it makes a difference. Let's put a few around. Ooh, sorry. A few around like this. You know, this could actually... Um, I can't reach there. I was thinking that we could do like these railings. But right here so that you don't go whoop, right out the edge. Which I'm sure I will do again. Um, we could just have one like that. That. We have two more. It really doesn't matter what I do with them, right? I'm thinking it doesn't. Let's even have one like that. I I think I get the... I think you could get the idea of... It's, it's good where it's at, too. Because I think it's, like, fairly cluttered. But it's not... Oh, overly cluttered i was thinking gee we need to add more but walking around it i'm like eh, can't get it can't get around here but i like this area it's i i've been holding this little top of the tree uh 
reserving it for a project for quite a while and I think that this is a good project. Now the downside is whoever lives right here is going to get a bunch of bird poop on them. But they're just going to have some like low real estate value. That's not really worth worrying about, right? So this is what it looks like from up here. I'm actually a bit of a fan of it. You know, I'm I know I'm in creative, but it's a fence. Get over it. I'm just going to place a couple. I see these and I realize I kind of want them to have varying heights. I'll even throw two away. Um, I kind of want this to be right here. I'll throw that away. Yeah, that's pretty good. I really like this. Um, I think that we could actually do pretty well. This is a fairly colorful area. You know, we got our yellow, pink, green all over. I think we could benefit from some more wool. The temple, I think, will be fairly colorful once we get it done. For those of you that haven't seen it, it's pretty much just pillars. I wonder if this has worked at all since we've been here. Yeah, we've gotten a few drops in here. Is there anything up there? Um... Where's entity count? I think my uh, frame, my recording overlay is covering it. Is that zero entities? Yeah. So there's nothing actually up here. This is what it looks like. And then I have it blocked off here because this layer is not uh, covered from the sunlight. But this is supposed to be a sheep area. So I have it set up so that you know, you shear them all, then you go across this, and it pushes all of the wool forward. That's how I, uh, I, I want to have this entire thing be those, one for each color. And it's laid out so that I can do that. I just got to do it sometime. Anyways, I think I'm going to go get some work done somewhere else. Okay, we are back at the orc village you know i was flying overhead just kind of taking a look at everything um i really like how this place looks from overhead um i think it's really coming along by the way uh i don't know if i've pointed this out there is actually an ice spike biome right over here I made a trip over here and got a bunch of packed ice a little bit ago. And I'm not sure where, but somewhere in this direction, there's actually a double village, like two villages right next to each other. There's a few, um, few, I thought, I, I'm always intrigued. <laughs> yes, intrigued by the thought of uh, messing around with villagers, but uh, I don't know. I just want to build. <laughs> Villagers are like so much work. Anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of work around here and then we're going to call it an end. Okay, I've actually ended up putting... Oh, let's not look yet. Uh, okay, let's look. I've actually ended up putting quite a bit more work into this today than I expected. I wasn't sure how much I was going to build. I wasn't really feeling it, but then I just start building and I just start feeling it. And... Doesn't look like much, does it? But I assure you, this has been, uh, this is the product of about three hours of not full commit, committed building, but you know, back and forth. So this uh, section right here is new, just pretty much a mirror of that. Um, this whole tower is, you know, coming along. Oh, hello, leg. I'm not sure if you got that or if I did. Um, I, it didn't tell me that I got any uh, frame drops, but I saw a, a big leg. I'm not really sure what to do with right here, what this hole is. You know, I've been working on, like, this side and bringing it up higher. Then I'll just have to do the top. I don't really have enough clay for the roof yet. Um, it's going to get another floor, just like this section right here. It's going to go um, up here, so it's going to be a bit taller than this one. And then there's a section way up there, and I'll show you. It all kind of ties together. This is new. I don't know why I jumped over that one. I have this nice way to get up there. Added these. You know, did some terraforming. Uh, hello, leg. I, again, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm seeing it. I've got stuff running in the background. Probably shouldn't do that. Uh, 
but we're almost done here. Um, this is just tying in this roof to this right here, which is the tallest tower. And it's nighttime, which is a great time to get a look at this in shaders. I was going to say a great time to go, but um, let's actually pop on the shaders. They take a, a hot minute to get set in. And by a hot minute, I mean like an actual minute. Hello? There we go. Um, and let's just step on back and take a look. I, I've been placing uh, tactical <laughs> torches, that's what they're called, all around. They're supposed to melt snow, right? I thought so, but that torch has been there a while. And as you can see, the snow has not melted. I wonder if it needs to be closer to the ground, but that seems like that wouldn't be a very large radius. I'm not sure. I kind of wanted to be able to make sure that these paths stayed, paths stayed clear of snow with torches, but it's not working. That used to be a thing, right? Wow. Hello, Sky. Uh, that oh, oh, sorry. Eptal, epileptic warning. Um, yeah. You know, I put these lamps in here. I definitely need something up there. I definitely want the interior lit. Because I want light to be coming from the interior. But, um, yeah, not that impressive yet. We need to work on our tactical lighting a little bit more. So I'm just going to turn that off. And that's about it for today. Did quite a bit of work. That was the first time in a while that I've just grinded out some work. And it felt good. So thank you for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe. If you haven't, I appreciate it. Bye.